Let me take the moon hat. This is absolutely god awful. You know what, though? It's certainly unique. What a blessed musician. People run a lot of, like, low attack units. I'm not saying we got this, because we obviously don't. <laughs> but it's an interesting... It's something... We're experimenting. It's the test build, okay? I don't really respect the magpie, unless we have to. Two tanky boys? Well, you know, you can just call me the candy man, then. See, this is the kind of squad I thought I would go up against. A squad that's like literally just units with like no stats. We're coming out of this with full HP because we're going to get a refund on the HP we lost anyway. Look at that. And then I will take my level. Thank you very much. Before attack, spend two trumpets to give the nearest friend behind six health. And then... I sold you, you'd become a 5-4, but we need to have a way to generate trumpets off of that, which we don't right now, so that's okay. Spend two trumpets, give the friend behind six health. Listen, we would need to get a cherry and then pop it on you, and that's exactly how that went down. Penguin has to go at some point, too. But I think this squad is not that bad. I've been wrong before, for the record. That's a strong lad. He's not that strong. Dude, the squirrel is going insane! Holy cow. So done with this channel. He never answers alone. Okay, hold on. Let me just turn off the browser capture for a second. So done with this channel. He never answers alone. 140 messages. Following for four months. Following for four months, subbed for 15 months. Here's the messages today. So when almond isn't a nut, would you put faith in that if you had an allergen? Four minutes before that. So almonds aren't considered nuts. Would you put faith in that with a peanut allergen? Are you sitting there like starving to death and asking a streamer for medical advice? I'm... I'm I refuse to give my opinion on that. The only opinion I have is that an allergen is something that causes an allergic reaction. And an allergy is what you have if you react to the allergen. Just to avoid confusion when you have to call your doctor. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Listen. We're not going down this road again. You don't need any more stats. You're nothing. He answered alone, Pog! You answer alone? Answer again. We don't need to level up our opossum either. Before attack, spend two trumpets to give the nearest friend behind six health. Okay, I might be crazy. Oh, but you won't get to attack because this gives, well, this gives us two before attacks. So if you put a chocolate cake on this guy, would we get both of the effects? Or would we just get the chocolate cake effect? Does not work, okay? Should only take a second to fix that then. In that case, I'm just gonna endlessly roll looking for something that doesn't exist. You know what I kinda like here actually? What about, a, what about throwing a lizard on here? You would give us a small buff, but then we wouldn't have the cherry to, to run with it. On faint, remove five health from that. You know what? I still like it. Maybe I could just put you here instead. Yeah, yeah, this, it makes some degree of sense. What rank are you in Marvel Snap? I don't know, I, I, I haven't played it since I, since vacation started. I wasn't really looking for something to break the spell, but it just happened to pass that the spell was broken, you know? 
I do blame Marvel Snap. Like, I understand why the game is like it is. But, um... I, I had to play... I, I fell out of the habit on vacation because I didn't have internet access. And you need internet access to play, like, 95% of all mobile games. So instead, I played Slice and Dice, which doesn't have to ping a server just to prove that I didn't steal the game. So as a result, now I'm just... Well, I'm not playing much on my phone these days, but I, Slice and Dice is the go-to when I'm getting my tires changed or something. Marvel Snap lost me. Because of the DRM. If I could have played bots, then I would have been playing bots when I was away instead of playing Slice and Dice, which would have been a great loss for, for us and for humanity. But So I, th I feel like the time is right for you to move to the front. And then you to move back here and be replaced soon. As soon as we find an unacceptable faint trigger. This is okay. You're a faint trigger, by the way, but I... Listen, I didn't really think about it. Okay, that's amazing. You know what would also work is... Uh, summon abilities. Like, if you, when a unit gets summoned, buff it, because we are summoning a lot of lizard tails right now. The cruise ships don't have Wi-Fi. Well, they do, like, they have Wi-Fi, but it's prohibitively expensive. I don't know if that's, like, if it's just a profit generator. Hold on. A dog? A dog saving me? Or if it's like um, because of the difficulty of sending data to a ship on the middle of the ocean or something, but it's like it's like a hundred megabytes of data for like twenty bucks. It's not a good deal. Plus, it's a great opportunity to disconnect. Like I didn't go on the cruise just to play Marvel Snap. You know, I could have done that shit on my toilet. <clears throat> I bet they make a killing off of it. I bet they don't because nobody's on Wi-Fi. You know that because the first day of the cruise, everybody's going, wow, it feels so weird to not have permanent internet access. And then the next day, everyone's having the time of their lives. I wonder if there's a correlation. Okay, we're not really running a trumpet build. I'm okay with that. Slug doesn't really do anything for us here, although it does have a faint trigger, Jarvis, which means that we could make you into a 6-6 six, six slug. Squirrel needs to get out of here, too. You're just, you're just a 6-5 right now. Buffing the lizard would be great, too. In B3, it buffs the other guy? What is that in B3? Oh, like in before? Like like the, the, the Reddit parlance? I didn't realize there was a Redditor here. That's my mistake. I'd like to apologize for my confusion. I was confused because you wrote B3. Summons get trumpets? Only if you have a, a goat. Which we, we had the opportunity to take. That's true. You are a faint trigger. I don't love that, so let's roll. You're a faint trigger? I'm willing to take a stab at it. Come on, hit my slug. Let's go! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe we can't upgrade the surgeon fish, man. We, we need it. All right, whatever. It is weird to have the slug at the back, but... That, that hurt. Get this frog out of here, please. Get him out of- Let's go! Get it! Keep him in here! No, get him out of here. Get him out of here, please. Get him- Get him out of here. What the hell? Your team is insane? It's the greatest team I've ever seen. It's my first loss, though. What do you think about this? 
Thank you so much. Also, tier four, tier four, 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 four. Not really. Okay. We have one of them. Yeah, 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 slug me. We should set it up like that. Sea Urchin did not take off nearly as much HP as I thought it would. Oh my god, this freaking ox is going to be so huge. But I got a 4-3 slug, so I'm not sweating it. Oh my god. Dude, get out of here. You stink. <laughs> Why are you so strong? I got a 3-2 slug, so I'm not sweating it. I got a 4-12 lizard, so I'm... Come on! I have lost the magic, man. I think it might be partly related to the fact that, like, every time... You don't even need to level up. Like, what am I even doing here? Every time I run a squad, by the time I reach round 10, nobody has double-digit stats in any department. Like, that's pretty bad. We still need somebody to generate trumpets for us. So I'm, I'm going to sell you. I'm going to move you to the front. Put a cherry on you. You have no reason to buy more, but maybe some b bananas? If this fish could level up, I feel like our lizard might have a chance, but... No, oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Hold on, so we have 5-3, okay. We're gonna get to summon a tail. Let's. This is the, the strat having a, a, its first chance to work in a long time. Look at dude, it's doing something. And then we still lose badly. I mean, I'm I'm telling you, there's only one way out. You guys are gone. You're in. You're going to buff the gorilla that gets spat out. That's the only way. It's the only way I see this come in the pass. No. Yes, extremely. For, for round one, I give this to you. And then we try to level up the macaque as fast as possible next turn. If there was any... Oh, it's oyster, motherfucker! You see the size of this door head ant? Please. The gorilla needs it. The gorilla needs the buff. The gorilla needs the buff. It's got 20. Send them. I still don't think we have enough, but it was like... Oh, no, no. We definitely don't have enough, but... We're, I, we were not up by as much as I thought we were. Okay, okay. I think that there's a chance we could pull ourselves out of the muck with just a little bit of luck. You know what? For now, we, get, we gotta smoke them if we got them. A paradise bird would be nice, but I, I, I'm not getting rid of anything that makes the squad tick right now. <laughs> Even though it ticks like garbage. <laughs> please, please. Okay, they're going big dog. How big is the dog going to get? We're about to find out. I don't think it's going to be that big. I think it's going to be like a... It's going to be a 14-14... A 16-16 dog? Brother, that's nothing. Welcome to hell. Okay. You can take a banana. The greatest player in gaming history. You still need a cherry. Dude, honestly, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll get two gold back next turn. Because it's still bugged, I think. But <laughs> this is better than rolling for something we can't afford, I suppose. What's this team? I hate to see a bulldog silk moth, but... Acceptable. Hold on. The, my math? My mathematics? 
my math and or my math ticks. Insane. Insane. We're still we're still pogging. We're still pogging. That's six. Now this is well overdue. Nope, 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 nope. Wrong, 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 wrong. Level two. More chocolate. Another macaque. Never punished? What, did I miss an oyster? <laughs> Please. Oh no, they've got their own gorilla. But my gorilla is going to have more HP. But it's also going to get used a lot faster. Oh, oh my god, they're going to have the biggest dog I've ever seen! I can't compete with... What is that? No, they're not going to have a big dog. Because they spent it. They spent it killing my backline units. Oh. <laughs> Way to go, idiot. Okay, no, forget the dog for now. This macaque's got to get to level three. Don't forget the slug, man. Sp okay, you know what? Remember the dog. The roller coaster of emotions. This is a very strong team. <laughs> it's like an insanely strong team. But you know what? We're still we're still trucking here. Would have been nice if you did Oh, you do do slightly more damage. Coconut shoots in spurts. And if it my I don't have a coconut. I don't have a coconut. Oh no. Oh no. No, that's that's the end of the dream, but still. We got, we got closer than I think anybody would have thought that we would have gotten. Let's put it that way. Damn, Birds of Paradise go off, man. Okay, very good. I think this squad right here gets a win. And just having three stats is nice. You have unlocked Cave. You have selected Power Drive. I'll be a silver mineral. I didn't mention one. What? What? Name a silver mineral. You can't copy my answer. I'm going to say silver. The Japanese Christmas market at UBC downtown was Pog last weekend. How'd you know where I got all my, all my melon pong? My chocolates and my dorayaki. My spam masubi and a... a Taco shell where the or the taco where the taco shell was made of deep fried seaweed with tempura bits on top of it and then filled with a little chopped tuna sashimi. Can I tell you my I, I took the baby to the, the Japanese Christmas market. She said, I'm not having any fun. I said, me neither. Everything's cash only. I walked a block and a half to an ATM, took out a little bit of money, and then I was having a great time. The world is so fucked up. Okay. I don't even... I don't want another goose. Whose money was it? It was my money. Every vendor I saw took cards. Maybe, maybe they got my letter to the editor. <laughs> The only, listen, I had a, the place that I ate from that, that did the, the seaweed taco shell, it was delicious. Here's what, you're not going to love this, okay? You're going to hate this. One taco, it was, you, I would say that a serving size for like a lunch would be two tacos. So they were pretty big. One taco was $12 Canadian, which is like a lot, right? Then I went to their website because I was like, how the hell do you survive with 12? Even though it was delicious, I was like, how do you survive with $12 tacos? I find out that when they're not at the festival, those tacos are like $7.50 each. So they, they all, there was surge pricing, let's put it that way. So I, I, fe I did feel a little bit betrayed. That's still a lot for one taco. Yeah, but it's not a... Like just a listen. I'm not saying it's better than a normal taco. It's not a flour tortilla with some stuff inside of it. You know, it's uh, 
they've wrapped nori with tempura and then deep fried. Like it's, there's different logistics involved. Plus, you know, there's there's demand pricing. Flour tortilla taco, dude. Don't start with me. I'm I'm big into the flour tortillas. I went to a, a real Mexican restaurant in San Diego. They gave me flour tortillas. What are you going to go there? Be like, excuse me, I thought this was a real Mexican restaurant. Can I get some corn flautas? How real was it? My brother in Christ. The restaurant was named Casa Guadalajara. And midway through the meal... An old man with a guitar that he held right around here, just under his chin, came out and went, Guantanamera, hey, 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 the Guantanamera, hey, hey, hey. Anyway. What a song. What am I doing? <laughs> I forgot. It's round three. I'm perfect so far. I have all the gold in the world. I don't want this. I don't care for it. I don't know what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. I want to see a faint trigger. I guess I would, I would double sell into you to make you as strong as possible. Uh, you know what I would do? I would put you here, and then I would put your ass back here, and I would feel very strongly about how we're doing so far. I would feel mighty good about the team. Nice toenail hat. Bro, it's not a toenail hat, okay? It's a moon hat. Just happens to be that the toenails are shaped like moons due to some cosmic bit of kismet, okay? I'm not God. I didn't intelligently design human beings. If, if I was, I would... Uh, honestly, I would welcome your complaints. Here's some complaints. Eating and breathing out of the same tube. Very poor design. You're overly coupled. You have too little cohesion. That was, a, that was a bad idea, okay? We should not be eating out of the same tube we're breathing out of. I feel like we should have a different exhaust port for just about every... Everything that comes out of our body should come out of a different port. There should be a, a semen tube and a pee tube. And if that means that you have to have two dicks, so be it. That's something we'll talk about in the daily stand-up to see if it makes sense, okay? I don't know about that one. <laughs> we'll lead us to kings. We'll really lead us to kings. Still don't know what I'm looking for. Sure, that's fine. You know what? If we don't know what we're looking for... We should be buffing, like, our best unit. That's also really nice. That's very valuable. Why don't you just come here for now? I don't care for you. Also, why does evolution have to make us sad? I, listen. I think they, I, I can't speak for evolution, right? But it seems like people who are unsatisfied, for whatever t messed up reason, have the most motivation to improve their station. So, you know, it, it, your depressed ancestors probably outcompeted the content ancestors 500,000 years after 600,000 years ago, which is 100,000 years ago. The, the distant prehistoric humans who were just content, they were probably like, whatever, maybe I won't have 12 kids today. Maybe I won't go hunt a saber-toothed tiger. The prehistoric humans with anxiety are like, I need to kill... I know I only eat an eighth of a saber-toothed tiger a day, but I need to kill eight saber-toothed tigers today. Just what if I'm really hungry? What if I am hungrier than I've ever been in my entire life? So I think there's some, I, I mean, evolution doesn't necessarily mean that we're the best versions of ourselves, 
But it means that there were a lot of versions of ourselves who were worse at surviving, at least, which is kind of scary to think about when you consider all the horrendous and humorous ways that people end up meeting their ends in the modern era. Like, you know, putting their head inside of an alligator's mouth and taking a selfie. It's a scary thought. Well, you scare me. Can I show you something? Okay, what's this? this? Okay. But then, can you look at the photo on the back? Holy cow. <laughs> look at that. Can they see the waterfall coming out of She's the She's got quite the flow going on there. <laughs> and also, the teapot is supposed to be super small. As you can see, imagine, <laughs> imagine the Yo, pot. yeah, look at her hand. Like, they photoshopped her hand onto this teapot. Or, like, someone else's hand. Because, like, look. The, that's the size of the box and that has the four tea set including the pot the pot is actually <laughs> so the size of like a oh, like man. a teaspoon but then just the water coming mm. out is insane that is hilarious we've been I, I've been doing a lot of charades with my baby lately so I like when I can't stomach another one minute of having Torchic and Peppa Pig eat pizza on the Peppa Pig table. I'll be like, hey, do you want some chocolate milk? And then I'll give her like a little like plastic cup from her playroom and then I'll go, huh? Glug, 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 glug. And then I hand it to her and then she goes to drink it and I go, ah, you gotta wait for daddy to get his drink. And then I go, maybe y'all have some uh, coffee. And I go like, Glug, 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 glug. Cheers. And then we both go. It is cute. Then it, it, that kicks off like 30 minutes of her going, Daddy, I want uh, water. Daddy, I want coffee. Daddy, I want apple juice. Daddy, I want. But it, you know what? It does. It does a trick. Then I, yesterday we did it and. I said, what do you want daddy to drink? And she said, daddy, um, croissant soup. And I said, oh, okay. <laughs> so I went, ooh, like I'm swirling a ladle around. And I went. And then I went, mmm, you can really taste the croissant. She loved that. Pog idea. We can get someone, we can get Good Mythical Kitchen to make it. Dude, this is an insane level up. You know what? I think we could actually, you're, this squirrel's not doing anything for us. I think we could run a Manta Ray for a half second here. The Osprey does not need to level up. It sh if, if it's still on our squad in a little bit, we got real problems. I don't respect it. We're on perfection right now. I'm making this shit tomorrow. It's just weird because like a croissant, it, it falls apart in the presence of saliva. So the idea that you could somehow submerge it in like an aqueous solution. I mean, let me just say I, I, I call into question the validity of it, but. Loved your episode on Good Mythical Morning earlier this week. Hello, Chib. Was Andrew Tate the guest this week? Did they have him try a microwave TV dinner from 1961? And then try to throw a, throw a dart at a map of the world to guess where it was manufactured. Yeah? I gotta see that. Hello, Chibli, by the way. Welcome, Chibli, to the stream. Welcome, welcome. We're not really... We're not doing too much summoning. I don't know what this squad's doing. I don't know what my, my strategy is. I don't know what my game plan is. You may say, my God... What have I done? Empty front space. Push the nearest friend ahead to the front and give it a little, little get a little, get a little bonus. I don't know. I'll pass for now. You know what's an interesting idea? What about a door head ant with an onion on it, so that it moves to the front and then it gets the health bonus and then immediately moves to the back. And then the next time a, a, a unit in front dies, it gets the bonus again. Onion Haseo, so true and a little offensive, I guess. 
As was the style at the time. Yes, yes, precisely. As was the style at the time. I do like a falcon. It's just hard to get the stats to buff it, man. Like the stat, it's got to come from like a bird of paradise. Or like a cherry ice cream smile. I suppose it's very nice. Chibli, ch thank you, thank you, Chibli. Chip, 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 chip. Chibli, the streamer guy. Chibli, the streamer guy. Chib, chib, chib. Chibli's a property of matter. I don't really have a lot to talk about today. <laughs> Just for the record. In case you haven't noticed. You're, you know what? This is a good lettuce round. And then, at least I can buff you slightly. Probably not enough to guarantee you even get one trigger on your ability yet, but it's, it's something. Hey, you know what? I feel like um, next turn, we start to get a manatee buffing a falcon. And maybe that kickstarts the falcon being not so ass. How's the SMP 500 doing? Oh, I got a trigger! I can't believe it! Um... I don't know, it depends. Are you asking, like, uh, year to date? Or are you asking, like, um, you know, monthly? You asking, are you asking on the quarter? Year to date, it's down, like, probably around 17%. From around 4,800 in January until 3920 something. Um, last five minutes, I couldn't tell you, but it's probably not significant. Oh, you were asking about Dream SMP. My mistake. My mistake. You can still be on the squad for a minute. You should give you more health. But then you're not going to get the Silkworm bonus. It's, it, this is important. We got to think longer term. You know what? This is gonna sound a little a little crazy. It's gonna sound a little psycho. Sell the manta and get the door head ant buffed as well. Freeze me for just a, a moment. Okay, buy me. Next round, r tier fives are gonna get buffed. I don't know, man. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I, I do like getting some stats. The stats are nice. She SMP on my NASDAQ till I Dow Jones. So true. And you know what? Something, something. Russell 2000. Don't, don't buff. Don't buff me and tell me it's raining. What do you, what do you do? These squads are, they're so gigabrain. Go directly to federal prison. Level. Boar is really good. Why do you have more HP now? Oh, because you took damage. So you got a permanent buff from the Silk Moth. I didn't even think about that. I would like you to live. Is that possible? Is that a thing we could do? It's nice if you put a banana on the monkey, uh, the manatee. When the manatee blows itself up, you'll get a free monkey. It's an interesting thing to think about. You could, I suppose you could also potato the manatee. Sure, that makes a lot of sense. I, mean, I suppose you could also put an onion on a door head ass. We, we could level a manatee as well. I got to think about this, man. I got to think about this one. Please tell me we also get the, the, the monkey's trigger here. Oh! <laughs> the hawk has no room. So true! So true, I didn't even think about it. No wonder I haven't been summoning anything. 
Wait until you see how many runs I do with the the squid without realizing I have no trumpet generators. I died? I'll, I'll accept my draw here. I think we got a little lucky. So I think you need an onion, and I think this will go insanely hard. You, you absolutely 100% have to take a bird of paradise. And you could just, I mean, it doesn't really make sense to do anything but pop him out there. Even though he's getting the buff. I know this seems insane. You just got to work with me on this one. I'm telling you. It's a it's an Oakland face with a LA booty. I mean the other one. <laughs> it's an LA face with an Oakland booty. That's and then ah, ah did you see do you see that? It's working and then this dude's going to freaking die. And then the door head ants coming back and he's 12 and 36. Now that's a strat, dude. What? I don't know what was happening at the end there. I guess he just decided he'd had enough. Honest question, why does my ass have 11 gold? Oh, because I summoned a weasel on my team that time. Hey, you've got weasels on your face. That's when I knew it was true love. We ate together, we bathed together. 2-2, two, two, I'll, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. And you know, nice buff. Honestly, I feel like it would be cool if you just, like, just, just screw up the enemy's positioning. Put their backline unit, like, slightly further ahead. We're getting a little strange with it. What happens if you pee to the manatee? Oh yeah, it hurts itself once and then gains 15 HP. Is that good? <laughs> See ya. Still? Oh, you're gonna summon a fucking huge ass dog though, dude. Holy cow. Block it? <laughs> it did not block it. <laughs> okay. We're kind of stuck here. We're gonna keep it going. This would just buff our bird of paradise. Honestly, call me crazy here. Rip manatee? You don't even know, man. You don't even know. Oh, <laughs> I thought I thought it, the Peter would would block the damage. I was call me crazy, man. I still got a lot of faith in this one. Shouldn't your ass be moving backwards right now? Why is your ass not moving backwards? You had one job. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a bit of a mess. We drew. No, I won! <laughs> Fuck you. It's like the macaque is just good. I gotta, I, I can't be too picky in a situation like this, I think. Oyster smiling! Sell my ass. More oyster, please. Another bird of paradise. Another cherry ice cream smile. I suppose it's very nice. Okay, there's a lot to like here. We definitely buy you. We can't really run too because then we don't have space for the gorilla, but. Level two. Level two macaque. Interesting. Now move back. Why aren't you. Dude! I'm, be I'm being scammed! Wait, but I summoned my own gorilla, but he's a 3 3. <laughs> but I summoned my own macaque, but that doesn't do anything. We own this! 
Something's wrong with my with my my onion here. Oh baby. Oyster! <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. Holy cow. What a hit. You can call me crazy for this one. I'm gonna just pop a second onion on you. I know it's, it's, it doesn't make any sense. I'm like, maybe it's just this onion. Maybe this onion is just messed up. Please don't. Just move it up one. Okay, I'll do that instead. Maybe that onion like went bad or something. You don't think so? Seems like it's glitched when you're not full squatted. Sorry, I know I said glitched. I know that it's a very memeable moment for the juvenile amongst you. There we go! This dude's about to feed my Frankenstein here. If, if he even gets to my Frankenstein, for that matter. You do have 37 HP, huh? I'm gonna go ahead and say big whoop to that. Oh. <laughs> okay, nine, nine wins. And you all doubted me. Number one thing we're looking for every round, oysters. Well, well, well. And the tomato? Yeah, if I wanna like fall asleep. I guess that would be a really good get for me. Ooh. Okay, fine. I'll buy a tomato. You happy? Salsa on my balls, boys. That's true. I listen. I'm not like insanely. Oh, because it summons two tomatoes. I see what you're doing there. How cheek delightfully devilish Seymour. Anyway, um. I, I think we should uh, uh, do something, okay? I... Mo motion um, presented. I think we should replace all instances of ketchup with marinara. I would be... Uh, catch me dipping my french fries in, in marinara. It's just like... It's a, it's a tomato sauce. It's herby. Put a little garlic in there or something. It's just a, oh, you unlocked a rude hat. Scumbag Steve hat. Yeah, I would put marinara sauce on a hot dog. Why not? What's the problem? Maybe a little pecorino. Maybe a little uh, Asiago. Maybe a little Parmigiano Reggiano. Would you put marinara on scrambled eggs? What's the difference between marinara and salsa? Marinara is just like Italian salsa. I'd put that on, on eggs, no problem. 